Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy and welcome to part five of my ultimate guide to Logic Pro. The way Logic stores its project files is pretty unique in that it gives you two different options. You can use Logic Project Packages, which are all in one files that contain your entire Logic Project, or you can use Logic Project Folders, which are a more traditional way of storing your Logic Projects in a folder hierarchy. Both methods have their pros and cons and specific ways to manage and save, which I'll cover in this video. But first, I wanna talk about the sponsor of today's video, Boombox. If you're a musician, beat maker, producer, or mixing engineer, you've gotta check out boombox.io. Boombox is a new website that allows you to upload your audio files all in one place, invite other collaborators, producers, or bandmates, and then receive time-stamped production notes and feedback. I use Boombox every day to keep my mixing and mastering work organized, and it really helps me keep all of my feedback from my clients all in one place, instead of searching through millions of emails and texts to find my mixing revisions. Head over to boombox.io to check it out for yourself, and you'll get 10 gigabytes of free storage space. So in order to explain how project packages and folders are different, I first need to go through some of the project saving options in Logic. So if you go up to File, you'll see there are four options to save. You have Save, Save As, Save a Copy As, and Save As Template. We're gonna skip the template option for now, but if your project is already saved in the location you want and in the format you want, you can just click here to Save or press Command S. However, if you want to save your project in a different location or in a different format, you're gonna use the Save As option, which you can access by pressing Shift Command S. This will bring up the Save dialog, and just so you're aware, sometimes this is minimized. You can click here to sort of maximize this so you can see the full sort of finder view and have a better idea of where you're saving to. Now, I already added my Logic Projects folder to my sidebar in a previous lesson, so I could save this here, or I could try saving this to my desktop. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I'll just call this Demo Project 1. Now, down at the bottom, there are two options to organize your project. You can organize these as a package or a folder. I'm gonna do both, but first let me explain these other options down here. So these control what you want to copy into your project. By default, with most projects, you really only need to copy audio files into your project. Stuff like samples, alchemy samples, ultrabeat samples, impulse responses, which are reverb impulse responses from Space Designer, movie files, and other Apple Sound Library content. These things are all stored on your computer as long as you downloaded the full sound library. So it's really not necessary to add all of these into your project. It more or less just wastes space. However, if you're going to be sending your project over to another collaborator or moving a project between two different computers, or maybe you're sending your project over to a mixing engineer, you may want to opt to include these just to make sure that your collaborator has all of the content in the project and they're not missing anything. I'm gonna turn these on just for demonstration purposes, and I'm gonna save two copies of this. I'm gonna save one project package. So I'll go ahead and do that now. And then I'll go up to save as again. And this time I'm gonna save this as a folder and since this is a folder, I'll just call it Demo Project 1 Folder. So I'll give it a little different name there and then save it. Okay, so before I get into packages and folders, I wanna show you this last option up here. This is called Save a Copy As. Save a Copy As creates a copy of your project, but after saving, you will still go back to working in your original project. So to demonstrate this, just remember that the project I'm currently working in is Demo Project 1 Folder. If I then go to Save a Copy As, this will just attempt to save a copy of the Logic Project file inside of my existing project folder. And if you're not inside of a folder, it'll create a new folder or package, depending on what you selected previously. However, notice that it does not give you an option to change your project format. And what you'll see is I'm still working in Demo Project 1 folder. I'm not working in that other project that I just saved a copy of. So this is different than Save As, where you continue working in the Save As project after you use the Save As function. And the only time I really use Save a Copy As is when I'm trying to make a quick backup on an external drive. 
while working from my internal drive, or if I want to create multiple project files within a single project folder, like different versions of a mix, for example. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and close out Logic now. So I'll just press Command Q to quit Logic. Okay, so now I'm out on my desktop. You can see the project folder and the project package for demo project one. I'm gonna go ahead and press Command N to create a new finder window. And I'm gonna to go to the desktop just so I can view this in list form. Now, project folders are a folder that contain all of the audio files and the project file for the entire project. So this is the logic project file. There's a folder for freeze files. If you've created any bounces or you have any like samples in your project, you'll see other folders in here as well. And inside audio files, you'll see all of the audio files that are inside of your project. I like this format because it allows me to easily create folders inside of the project folder for things like samples and loops and other content that I want to have easy access to. Even things like demo bounces, demo mixes, lyric sheets, chord sheets, things like that. So for me, I feel like folders are a better way to organize my projects. Now, in terms of just moving projects around and sharing projects with other people, project packages are easier for that because project packages are just all in one project files that contain all of the project data. If I double click on this project package, it's just gonna open up logic. It's not gonna open up a folder. However, there is a trick where you can sort of explore the content inside of your project package. If you just right click or control click on it, and then select show package contents. This will open this up in a folder hierarchy, and then you can go into media, audio files, and you'll see all of your audio files in there. However, you do just have to take that extra step and show the package contents. Now, another really important thing to understand is when you're sharing a logic project with someone else, like a collaborator or a mix engineer, it's best to compress the entire folder or package as a zip file. So to do that, you just select the project folder or package, right click or control click and select compress. And this will create a zip file and you can just send that single zip file over to your collaborator. One big mistake I see from a lot of beginners is they'll go into their project folder and just zip the logic project file without zipping the entire folder. The problem with this is that the project file doesn't contain any of the audio content. So if you send just a zipped project file, your collaborator is not going to see or hear any of the audio content when they receive the project on their end. So just remember, if you're working with project folders and you want to make sure that your collaborator gets all of the content in your project, compress the entire logic project folder as a zip file. So that's how you can save your projects in Logic Pro and the difference between project packages and folders. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.